Hello everyone, it's Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone's doing wonderful today. I'm here to show you some really pretty stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, well first off, let me just, I just wanna give a shout out to um, Laura. I did do a little short. She does have a channel here on YouTube. Um, and if I can remember, I will link it down below. But um, I, she does incredible um, flatware, jewelry and objects like uh, sun catchers and stuff and I just wanted to briefly show you I know this isn't really a preview but I just want to show you um, one of her pieces that she made for me um, this is um, a what is it it's from 1886 it is an Assyrian head so you've got this crazy cool from the 1800s and she custom makes it to your size um, and um, I bought this is now my fourth ring from her and um, they're incredibly well thought out and well made and they feel great on so I just wanted to give her a shout out um, I do love it very much and she'll send you like a little card um, and it tells you the year and what the flatware name is and oh and here is her website and you could also look on YouTube because that's the name of her uh, YouTube channel as well okay anyway so that was that. Anyway, thanks for being here. I will unzoom. So like I said, this is a preview for my lovely sale, which will be tomorrow, 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, and that will be at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 4, 5, 6, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and it's going to be, a, you know, same as usual. Um, we're going to do auctions, um, some buy it nows, um, and some giveaways, and just have a good time. If you would like to participate in any of that, um, I will have all that information down below, how to sign up and that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's get going. So I've got all these incredible things back here, so you can see those. But So I'm going to pull some stuff that's over there, okay? Um, I don't even know where to start. So I, I, like I always have a big mix, I really do this week, um, of some antique, vintage, sterling, just a bunch of stuff. Anyway, so I, oh, look at these, look at, this is a chunk, a chunk of love, look at this. So, um, Venetian, um, are these wedding cake beads? You know, I don't know, I would say yes, but someone who knows better might say no, so I don't know. I'm calling them Venetian wedding cake beads. They're very, very large. Um, and they have the lovely flowers on them with the uh, old brass beading. Really, really, really in amazing condition. Beautiful. It has a barrel clasp. It looks to me a uh, slightly newer barrel clasp. Um, but so I have these gorgeous. Is the lighting okay? I guess I don't have all my studio lights on. But I live in a, a very warm climate. It's like 100 and what today? God only knows. What is it today, actually? Now that I've got you here, what is it? It's 106 right now. So when I have all my studio lights on, it's, <laughs> yeah, no, mm -mm, it's way too hot. So anyway, so we have this gorgeousness here. Okay, that, that, that. Um, I am gonna show you some of the costume first, I guess, just cause I am. So I have this beautiful, I was very excited to be able to receive this. Now, you know, I don't, I used to deal a lot more in costume jewelry. Um, now, mostly now is more, um, you know, sterling and that kind of stuff, but I do, time to time um love to buy and uh sell some costume jewelry it just depends you know it depends on the situation so i have this fabulous flat back juliana bracelet um, this is called a flat back because of the back of it it is not the panel we have the correct push clinic cl push <laughs> push closure uh, that is manufactured for uh, for them and a couple other uh, jewelry people as well. Uh, anyway, um, and we have the figure eight puddling. Anyway, it is a flat back Juliana. Really, really cool plums and uh, it's looking a little darker than it actually is, um, but it's very grape jelly and plums and them really, really just beautiful. Uh, it does have a safety. I'm not sure if the safety is the original. I have no idea, but fantastic bracelet in great condition, other than the fact that I'm not 100% sure if that is original. Okay, there's that. And speaking about beauty, um, I've had a couple people look at this and I've had a couple people give me their opinion, so I'm not exactly sure. So I'm gonna just go by my own opinion, I guess. Uh, fantastic, this is two and a half inch by two and a half inch in remarkable condition brooch, all glass cabs. 
Here is the back. Absolutely beautiful. Very little, if any, uh, fading. This is one of those pieces that someone had and just put away and just never did anything with it until one day someone did, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it is stunning. Really cool. I love this, this type of glass. I don't know. I don't know enough. Yes, I have books. I have all that stuff. And I did do research, um, but I'm not an expert. So I did reach out to a couple people that know a lot more than me and um, I got their opinions on it. So we'll just go with it, you know? Anyway, beautiful. Regardless of what it is, it's a fantastic brooch and I do think it's gorgeous. So there's that. There's that. Yay. Oh gosh. So it's been a rough couple days. Um, I'll just let everyone know if I'm a little off. My father had a stroke um, and I live 3,000 miles away. So it's um, just been a little difficult um, the last couple days. Um, he's not been well in general, which I'm sure you all know. Um, so just bear with me. I'm still here. I'm just, you know, might be a little not as uh, enthusiastic as I normally am, um, but I don't want anyone to take that personally. It's just my own head, you know, just going through some, just going through some stuff. Okay. But talking about stuff, look at this beautiful mid-century modern Tasco awesomeness. Oh my goodness. Oh geez, look at that. I love this. There's just, mm, it makes me happy. This is a happy place I can go to right here. It's just kind of whimsical. Um, it has all the markings. I love how it's riveted together. Just a very, very cool, cool piece. It's in very good condition. Now there are some scratches. You know, a jeweler can get that out if that bothers you. I am zoomed in, just keep that in mind. But anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful mid-century modern coolness, cool factor. Okay, let's see. Hmm. So I hope you all are doing well staying cool. I heard it's like just really hot and gross everywhere, isn't it? I don't know. What is happening? Who knows? Okay. Oh, I'm not even sure where to go. So I am going to bring, oh my God, I'm going to bring this beautiful hair piece. I was debating, but last time I brought one, I broke it and I felt horrible um, that I broke it uh, after it had already sold. So that kind of bummed me out and the person who bought it from me out, I'm sure. So I'm going to bring this gorgeous one here. Just an old school, really pretty, big, not as big as the other one, but big hair piece. That sounds like a wig. I don't, you know what I mean? you know, beauty, adornment, let's just say adornment for your head. Okay. Um, this I'll just, I wasn't going to, okay. Yeah. Look at this. Amazing. This is, um, this is old. This is, I'm not going to date it right now. I'll, okay. Come tomorrow. This is uh sterling silver and carnelian. Beautiful, beautiful, um, kind of festoon. I'm not sure if this is a true festoon, but it's a, getting there it's gorgeous yeah I'm gonna call it festoon why not absolutely stunning um I love the warmth I did not polish this at all um it just I think it's personally perfect the way that it is absolutely stunning the carnelian is just enough color to bring out all the different textures here let me zoom in a bit look at that really really stunning stunning piece um and here's the neck part of it Beautiful piece. So this this obviously will be here tomorrow. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, I thought it was. I had to get it. I had to bring it to y'all. Um, and then I do want to also say here I have other things that aren't so ornate because I know I have, you know, customers that like like real modern ornate, you know, a little bit of everything. So I'm trying. Uh, I've got this amazing. This is a huge. This is this is Tasco as well. It is marked down here. Gorgeous sterling. I don't know, is this four or five inches? And then it's on this really great long sterling silver bead ball chain. I love the sound it makes. Isn't that nice? It's like a little wind chime on you. Well, I guess you don't have to wear it, but I mean, I would wear it if I wore necklaces. <laughs> I really, I got to stop buying myself personal necklaces. I can't help it. I love them. I just don't. Wear them. It's so silly, isn't it? One day I'll do a video on some of my Tasco pieces. Um, 
and you'll see some of my necklaces and stuff. Uh, I have sold a bunch of my own personal stuff because if you're not going to wear it, you know what I mean? But some I just can't. I can't part with. So I might as well at least show them to y'all. Okay. So let's see. I don't even know. I do have, um, look at this. This is a vintage. I don't know, know if, I think this is Tasco, believe it or not. I thought it was Turkish. I think it is. It is. Tasco. Oh, gosh, do I have my loop? Of course not. I'm never quite prepared like I should be. Let's see what this one is. This one just came in today. So, um, I, you know, oh gosh. Well, it's kind of dirty on the background. I think this is, believe it or not, Tasco. Um, it is sterling silver and turquoise and it is adjustable and it's a hard adjustable. So it's not going to, sometimes you find these and the, they're very thin and sterling and they're kind of flimsy. This is not, this is a nice solid piece. Um, so, really beautiful running very different looking in my opinion for Tasco I really thought this was more um, along the lines of like you know an old-school uh, Turkish or Israeli or you know more I don't know along the lines of something like that you know but nope I was wrong and that is okay to be wrong just admit it when you're wrong that's all anyway Oh, I'm not going to go off on tangents. I promised myself I wouldn't do it. Okay, someone did ask me if I could get more of these Navajo made locally to me, um, sterling silver um, turquoise um, hoop earrings. So I did. I got two pairs of the smaller hoops. These are, I think they're two and a half inches. Uh, the hoop itself, I think, is two, and then, you know, from the ear down. So I have two different, two pairs. Obviously, they're not identical. I mean, they're identical, but the turquoise is slightly different because it's turquoise is not going to be the same right so um i don't remember who it was and i do apologize but just in case this sells and it wasn't who asked i do have another pair so <laughs> there we go um if someone is interested in these ever just let me know it takes me a couple days to um get them um as long as they're still made or being made i can usually get them i can get them in this size and the size larger um and so the larger ones have a little bit more sterling beading um anyway so i throw that out there because I feel bad that I can't remember who asked me for that one. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. Okay, what else? Um, I have a really great, I don't have a bust for it right now because they're all being used. Okay, uh, I have a fetish necklace. Um, so we have the sterling silver cones. Um, at, and then it goes down. We have beautiful carved birds. So two uh two stories but i didn't know they're called two stories i thought it was just like multi, you know double whatever two story i maybe some i wonder if someone was pulling my leg i am a little bit gullible sometimes so but i'm gonna stick with it i'm gonna call it two story a two story necklace <laughs> that is necklace this is navajo made this is a little bit of an older piece um this is uh these are handmade they're not the machine made ones that you see with like the typical sun rays these do have sun rays but these are hand etched sun rays in them so it's not I don't have do I have any of the other ones and there's nothing wrong with the other ones they're just mass produced um, and this is I'm basically saying this is not a mass produced one this is what I'm trying to get at anyway um, really pretty a little different um, I love the use of the earth tones that was very pretty so you know put this with like a little bit of turquoise you know and BAM really will pop everything and it's not the same old look that everyone wears when they wear fetishes so I wanted to get it I thought it was cool Yay. Okay. Um, I know I've lost a little bit. Um, I do have, where's, I do have, oh, I've got some gorgeous rings here. Oh, am I just showing everything? Well, I'll show this one. This is rock crystal, not, not glass, rock crystal. Um, and it is a carved butterfly inside. Sterling silver. This is a vintage piece. Isn't that beautiful? You know, we've all seen the ones with the pagodas and stuff, and so I thought this one was lovely um, that it had the butterfly in it. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, but if you don't like the antique stuff, or if you like it, it's just not for you, that's totally fine, because I also have just more of, like, the chunky. Now, this one's not a new one. I do have some newer rings as well. I always let you know if something is new. If I know. If I know, I'll let you know if it's a new new stock or if it's um, 
vintage or you know uh, this one is a vintage piece when I say vintage it's more than 20 years old okay <laughs> you know it's not recently made um, but it's not super old you know but it's still it's a very cool look um, really beautiful rainbow moonstone sterling silver little very polished <laughs> but it will tarnish over time I did not polish it it actually came to me this way and I tried to tell people that I buy from unless it's already polished and I see it don't polish it but sometimes they don't listen really cool I like it a lot I don't know what size it's a well I say it's large size because it's too big for me but that doesn't mean it's a large size it's, it's a size eight eight and a quarter so it's a nice size really pretty look at that blue flash very pretty now I do have some smaller rings this week because I do know it's so funny how like get the ebb and flow people want large they want small and I can't always provide all of that I wish I could I really do um but it's just me it's just lonesome little me um but I do have some smaller sizes this week I have this now this one is old now how old I don't know but this one is old <laughs> this is believe it wait let me just wait let me make sure I'm talking about the right one before I bought myself yeah this one is okay ready so here we go Look at this one. This is a size four and a quarter. Now this, believe it or not, is turquoise. It has just turned very green over a long time. Here, let me take this off. Hold on. Look. So this is a little size, um, and I know not many of you, but this can also be a pinky ring, obviously. Ooh, I'm a little puffy today. Ooh, I gotta stop eating all that sodium. Anyway, gosh. Shh. Um, it's really cool. All handmade. It is marked inside just sterling, but I don't, there's no maker marks or anything as such. Now I've had personally, I personally have had this one for, I don't know, eight, 10 years or so. Um, and I just refound it. I, yeah, I'm closing down one of my websites. Not closing down. I'm putting on hold one of my websites. Um, I sell on a couple of different platforms. One of them, I'm just. Um, it's summer. It's slow, um, and there's just too much going on in my personal life for me to have to worry about selling on a million different plat, not a million, three different platforms. So one of them. And so I was going through some of that inventory because it's all different inventory for each platform, which is. I know it's just the way I work, um, and I refound this one. I found some other ones too, but I figured I'd bring this one. Um, very cool piece. I wish I knew more about it. Um, I just bought it because I thought it was really awesome. I love the, how dark this stone is. How like over time, it's actually gotten darker since I've owned it, um, and um, it fit me, you know, because I have little fingers, so long fingers, but little that way. So anyway, so I have that beauty um, for a small. So I have a couple smaller rings this week, actually. Um, I have this fantastic agate. Now, I think I had one similar to this, which is kind of crazy because this is a vintage piece, but look at this. First of all, okay, here we go. I love it, look at that. It is so translucent. Um, I don't know, it's beautiful. Look at the setting. Stunning ring, absolutely stunning. Anyway, let me see what size it is. I, I think it, it'll, it's larger, but I don't know like how large. So let's see here. Um, it's a 10. So this one is a size 10. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, I think it's gorgeous. Anyway, um, I know not everyone likes the earth tones, um, but you know, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, what else do I want to show? Uh, what else? Oh, I do have some... Um, well, okay, you know, people call it different things. Now, the person who sold this to me called it end of the day glass. I'm not so sure about that, okay? Okay, um, I do know that it's old. I've had similar ones before. Um, so I have this fantastic, now they call it end of the day because they're saying that this is, you know, the end of the day, they take the end of the slide glass from and they just kind of throw it together, put it in a mold and make beads or whatever they make out of it. Um, but I can't confirm that this is actual end of the day. Um, it does kind of look like it, but I don't know for sure. So I'm just going to call it a vintage, long, super duper long, really beautiful, colorful, beaded glass necklace. And like I said, I have had ones that were deco. This one is not. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It looks, 
It looks a little bit too much in good condition to be old because normally these, you know, they do break apart over many, many years. And so this one looks like it's in extremely good condition. So um, it is old. I know that, but I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know if this is actually from the 20s or 30s. I don't know. I don't personally think so. Um, the glass is in fantastic condition. There's like, I don't see flea bites. I don't see really very much wear. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's sometimes hard to see, but um, regardless, it is fabulous. And I thought it was great and colorful. Sometimes you need a little color in your life. I'm learning as I'm getting older, right? Um, what else? Um, and for 4th of July, because you know, why not? <laughs> I'm bringing, I know, you're be like, what does this have to do with 4th of July? Well, it's red. I don't know. <laughs> it's the way my brain works. Uh, Millefure. Um, cool, the old school barrel clasp. Not as old as uh, a lot of them but uh, that I've had, but this is an older one. Um, and then we've got just real fun red. Like, I know right now it looks more tomato. Well, tomato is red, but it, in real life, it is like a, it is a, fire engine red wow it looks very dark in here maybe i need to move the light a little bit more i don't know does that look okay anyway it's really pretty and it has like the um now you know hold on a minute please i do not know if this is pyrite or if it's a glass bead i'm not sure anyway and it is knotted in between all those beads and it has the little brass caps that you look for anyway it's just a real pretty piece it is a shorty though um but i figured you know it's red white and blue so I didn't have time. I was going to do my whole set and like, you know, red, have, you know, whatever. And I just didn't have time. I'm so sorry, everyone. But what can you do? Um, I don't know. What else? We, what am I going to show? Do I have, I do, I always have Tasco. We know that, right? We already, I don't have to say that. So I do have some Tasco bracelets. Um, one which I've shown before, which I'm shocked, shocked that is here because this is one of the older ones. This is a, well, actually, this is, this is very old. This is a pre-eagle. Um, there's a gorgeousness here. Now, I know they're kind of a neutral, but in person, it's like a glowy magic color. I don't know. It's uh, interesting. It's really pretty. Um, I love the whole Art Nouveau look of it. It is heavy. It is a solid, gorgeous bracelet. Maybe it just doesn't translate as well on video, and that does happen, unfortunately. Um, but it is stunning. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. So this one is here, and I obviously, since I've shown it once before, I will knock a little bit of money off of it. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous, though. Look at that, beautiful. Um, and then I have a Danish bracelet there. Danish showing, I'll show you another time. Um, what else? I don't know. Oh, well, I just have stuff. I don't know. I just have some stuff. I have, uh, buh -buh. if anyone likes a uh, really interesting, pretty, look at this beautiful cross. It's sterling silver, black enamel, and citrine. Gorgeous. This, this has some heft to it. Look how thick that is. It's really pretty. I loved it. Absolutely stunning. So we have that. Um, and I do have, now I do have some turquoise with gold vermeil this week. Um, you know, I, not everyone's the hugest Gold Vermeil fan. Um, you know, I don't have a problem with it. So, you know, I'm just going to show it. I've got this fabulous piece here. This is all genuine turquoise. And this is all sterling silver. It just happens to be Gold Vermeil on top of it. We could take that one off so you could see. So this is amazing. You know, look at how much sterling there is. Really cool. Very different. Very, very different. Very Mediterranean. Oh, my gosh. I could absolutely see this with like either black or just like even a crisp white shirt, uh, flowy, you know, I don't know. I just loved it. Or it can be very smart. Like if you still have to go to the office and have to wear, you know, like a suit or whatever, this is just a little bit of sexiness to it. You know, it's just, it's just a cool look. It's a very confident, cool look. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> I really do. I think it's beautiful. Okay. Um, what else? I don't know. I have a bunch of stuff. I'm not exactly sure everything they're bringing. I have Art Deco. These are, um, I've had similar before. This is um, the original bead ball. Now, uh, I'll just show it. Now, I've never had one that was, uh, now, 
I thought this was where I might as well show you. I thought this was where, but um, it's not bizarrely enough. Well, yes, there is some wear to it. Don't get me wrong, but the silver color is supposed to be silver and the brass is brass. Um, that's how this, and I've never seen that. I've only seen them with the brass, um, but there's a little bit of wear. I mean, it's, you know, art deco, um, fabulous. Look at that clasp, gorgeous bracelet really easy to wear, feels great. It moves really nicely on you. And I have a big chunky bead ball art deco as well. Now this one's in good, very, very good condition. There's a little bit of wear to it, but hardly any compared to ones I've had in the past, you know, um, and this is a, this is a big one. Normally I don't get them where they're that thick. I don't know. I had to, there was no way I wasn't going to get this. And I got the necklace first. And then I was like, well, wait a minute. I need to have a bracelet because why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Um, and I kind of liked the fact that it was slightly different. I'm not so matchy matchy. Some people are, and I'm not talking smack. Okay. Like that's totally fine. I like it to be a little bit different. Um, and I think this is a little bit different, but yet the same, you know what I mean? So I'm selling them separate because I am, um, because they didn't, they're not a set, but I think they would look fantastic together as well, just in case. Um, and I might as well, I'm just showing everything. Oh, well, not everything, but okay. So this one is very old and this one I almost kept. This is the one, the green does glow. I don't have my black light. Okay, crap. I'll get it. Cause I know my husband likes to see things glow and some of you do too. I, whatever, you know, it's, I mean, it's not, it's not going to, you're not walking around with a little black light hanging from you showing off your cool glowy glass, but whatever. It's just a cool thing. At least you should know that it glows. So this is, uh, this is Czechoslovakian. Uh, it is older art deco, uh, brass. There is some wear to the back. The front of it though is in very good condition, not perfect condition, very good condition. The glass is in very nice condition. Um, and I love it. I love this type of thing. Um, I sure do. Anyway, so this will be here. Um, yeah. And that's, I think that's a nice variety. Did I show you a nice variety? I'm not sure. I know I don't have so much Navajo this week. Um, I do have some for next week. You know, I got to split it up a little bit because not everyone likes the same stuff and I know, and it can get kind of, you know, I want to be able to provide for everyone, but, but if you really want to, if you're here tomorrow and you're like, Kirsten, can I just see one Navajo piece? Yeah. Yeah. I can, show you. I have a couple really spectacular. I mean, this is okay. I do have some spectacular pieces, um, that I'm holding off until not this week, next week. Um, but I can always show them to you. Um, and, uh, yeah. And what else? I don't know. Oh, just cool stuff. I have lots of sterling. I will have my buy it nows. I'm still doing that while supplies last while I can, you know, um, with some of the lower price items, I most certainly will do that for you all. Um, we have some opal, marcasite, vintage. Yeah. Like I said, a little bit of everything. I have a gorgeous, uh, this brooch is amazing. This is, uh, Niels, what's his name from Norway. Uh, it's a signed piece in amazing. This is literally mint condition mint condition. This can also be worn as a pendant. Uh, and the reason I say that is, uh, it's really tight on there. Old school clasp, just stick it on a chain, a necklace, wear it. You know what I mean? Like not a big deal. Totally cool. And I can even supply like a little cap that you can protect, you know, so you're not going to get poked, but regardless, not everyone knows what to do with the brooch. Um, a lot of you do, some people don't, but this beautiful piece, I have shown this once before. Um, and then I guess it didn't, I just put it aside um, because this is a collector's item and it's just absolutely stunning. And these are very, they're not, this type of thing is not hard to find. This particular one is extremely hard to find. And I don't say that lightly because when people say that, what's the first thing that I do? I go and I Google search it, take a snapshot. And I found one, I found this one in white with the white. Um, and I think I found it with a blue. I have not found this one in yellow and it wasn't exact the other one. The white one was, but I don't think the blue one was, but anyway, um, yeah, literally take a snapshot right now and look, look it up. Cause if you do find one that's in immaculate condition, this one, let me know because I might want to purchase it <laughs> because, um, they're worth quite a bit. Um, you know, anyway, fantastic. It's really cool, cool mid-century piece, isn't it? It almost looks like a little ashtray like that. Oh my goodness. Doesn't it weird? Or like a little bowl. I have, I have little bowls like that. Anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you for making me laugh. I needed it. It's been, 
it's been a week. Anyway, I still have this gorgeous Tasco bracelet here, still available. Um, I think it's still available. I mean, I'm wearing it, but sure, why not? It's still available if someone is so inclined. Um, and that's it. You know, I've got tons of hair. No, I'm not even going to show you. You'll have to come tomorrow. The table is full, and I don't even have room for some of the other stuff. So anyway, I hope to see everyone tomorrow. Hopefully you saw something that you liked. Um, like I said, prices, you know, anywhere between like, you know, like eight bucks all the way up to whatever, hundreds, you know what I mean? So a little bit of prices for everyone, I hope. Um, and it's a fun time. Even if you don't want to come by, just come say hi. I'd love to see you. Uh, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you've yet not subscribed, please do. It's free. It helps me out. It takes a second. And yeah. Anyway, I hope to see everyone tomorrow. Remember, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 7 p.m. Eastern. Love everyone. Hugs and love. And of course, I'm not going to forget, please be kind to the world around you. But also, don't forget to be kind to yourselves. We need to be. I forget all the time. It needs to start at home. Okay. Bye-bye.